Okay, this is kind of a warning video. <clears throat> Guys, there are about to be some incredible layoffs, not just with Meta and Twitter and whatever the hell is going on, but everybody is in trouble as far as your layoffs and your job goes. If they, you must be fired to fix what the government has done to the economy. And the government's not been quiet about it. They've actually come out and told the entire country, y'all are all about to get fired. Sorry, our bad. Well, not our bad, your bad. It's all your fault. Credit card debt has gone from 8,000 in 2020 in two freaking years, it's gone up to 20 grand. Do you know why? Because you guys are still buying shit you don't need with money you don't have to impress people you don't like and you're putting your bills on there too. You have got to knock that shit off because all of you people that are charging up your credit cards right now and you're about to lose your job because there's a whole shitload of you that are probably gonna see me and then you're gonna lose your job and now you've got a massive amount of credit card debt. You could've used that debt right now, huh? Eh, losing that job? Yeah. I cannot stress to you enough, stop using your credit cards right now please stop have a secondary business lined up start your side hustle now if you want to look for other employment hey you know what it's a really good time especially if you're a vet or active duty military you definitely need to hit my link because right now i can get you a complete financial education with licensing for 25 dollars. who says no to that you have two years to come on and be like eh, i just want to make sure i got in Make sure I got it for 25 and not what most everybody else will have to pay, which isn't that much more, but still. So for that, you hit that top link, the very top link, schedule with me and let me get you in. You only have till December 1st to do this with me. But this other stuff coming down the pike, guys, Christmas is coming. <laughs> so credit card debt's about to be even bigger and then you're gonna have a whole wrap ton of layoffs really, really soon. You cannot say you were Today I lost my job at Twitter. Myself and many of my coworkers woke up to find out that we no longer have jobs. I was very lucky to have this job at Twitter. I worked on an awesome team with awesome people, coworkers who I even considered friends. And now that's over. To make it even worse, I'm reading a lot of negative nasty things about my coworkers online and I want to set the record straight. So I made a longer video talking about my experience working at Twitter and you can watch it on my YouTube. Our badges, they taking our, 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 our best and making us hand over our best, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy, man. Like, we really just getting walked out right now, bro. Like, I didn't think that the 10,000... When news alert on Amazon, the uh, CEO, Andy Jassy, sending a note to employees just a few moments ago, talking about additional layoffs at that company into early 2023. Of course, they just announced recently uh, 10,000 uh, employees would be cut at that company. It's the reality of the downsizing that seems to be going on throughout big tech. Take a look at those shares getting a little bit of a move, but we'll follow that clearly. Mike Santoli is here for his last word. It is the reality right now of these mega cap technology companies trying to write. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Yahweh Kakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that root and teach will. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. News in this gospel, bro. I the standard of Yahweh, I should be how shy, wherever it may be. Hey, man, let's go. Let's go. Hey, grinding is ceasing. Brother, uh, put up no work for Egypt, inflation, and mass tech layoffs. Hey, man, this is the beginning of a massive work exodus, man, for you people uh, that's been putting your faith in the American empire and this Babylonian system, which is due to collapse any day. Okay, because what's happening, and we've been speaking on this for some time now. Basically, what's happening is that they're getting ready to switch over currencies. Okay, they're getting ready to go over to these uh, alleged central bank digital currencies, which is known as CBDCs. Okay, because they want to phase out cash. Because this is the step towards the mark of the beast, man. Okay, so this is the, the bro, it's clear as day at this point. Massive layoffs, economic collapse, and what's the savior of the day? The chip. Okay, because I'm honestly speaking, I don't see this cbdc thing playing all the way out i feel like they're going to introduce it in one way or another but it's going to be required to get the microchip somewhere down the line now however they play it out however the lord does it it's still up you know up in the air for now how the most high is going to set this whole thing up but these people are losing their goddamn minds man because why they put their refuge in something that couldn't save them all right you heard jake on the on the on the particular clip oh man they really just walking us out making us turn in our badges well I mean, what the hell you thought was gonna happen? You know, 
you people put your faith in this world and this in these jobs this economy and like the chick said start running up your credit card debt look my encouragement to you edomites and you two-third jakes out there is to run up your credit cards man live it up because you're not going to be able to have too much longer of longevity here in this place to go off and fuck off and do your folly you know all your new year's resolution you people was talking all this gaziness oh i'm gonna go in 2021 we gonna get the bag well it look like the bag finna get you <laughs> all right because this place is through okay massive layoffs tech com companies and you know what's so weird about this whole thing they're building the metaverse facebook i think right along the side of the fbi center here in kansas city by the airport now we was working up there early this year we was kind of surveying the land and seeing what was what and they started the groundwork on it they put the manholes in the, the the pipes and so forth they digged it up they got the foundation laid for the most part um it's been since the summer since i've been there so i don't know how far they are but allegedly this thing was supposed to be done by 2025 and then i'm hearing it's a 10-year plan now but through the spirit i don't know how they're going to build this thing up if they don't have any employees to run it you see because hey the scripture said they should build but i should throw down so you're building up a multi-billion dollar corporation actually trillion facebook is worth hundreds of billions of dollars metaverse okay twitter all those things they own billions of dollars but my thing is you're spending all this money into building up this infrastructure how the people that you can't hire anybody to work there because everything is collapsing now you got esau that will come in and say well you know um things are going to stabilize itself but see the key to this when they collapse everything when they bring in that chip that's going to be the thing that's going to promise you people hope well you know let us bring in a chip you know you're going to need a microchip to work here at facebook or metaverse so they setting it all up man while you people are bugging out you're losing your minds hey amazon ceo says layouts will continue into 2023 and we told you during the first quarter of the year which it already started i believe back in october because that quarter is i think the first quarter is like i think every quarter is three months so you have october november december to january then you have wait four eight twelve no they're four months Salaki. i think it's three i think it's three months and four increments if i'm not mistaken Salaki, if i'm off on it but uh regardless of that you have quarter one two three four okay quarter one starting this year i believe and they was talking about massive layoffs see when they're talking about quarter layoffs and annual layoffs you're thinking the beginning of the year no it started already that's why the supply chains are at a completely halt right now nothing is really moving outside of what's been in circulation and a lot of things that you're seeing moving they're just recycling or transversing from one place to the next it's not the fact that they have all this extra shit that they're grabbing no they have what they call uh backup stock so to speak okay and with this diesel shortage thing being in the horizon it's, it's not looking good for your christmas but you know we'll see what happens because you people you're going to find ways to, to to still live your folly you're going to still celebrate thanksgiving you're going to still celebrate christmas you're going to still go out and celebrate new year's eve and, and just be a bunch of damn degenerates man okay so anyway uh let me bring out a precept that i'm gonna finish playing a clip because this is actually i love news like that because it lets us know that hey yeah how about you me how was child's getting ready to come get us man that's why us as brothers and men of the Lord, we got to fucking tighten up, bro. Like, straight up. And I'm telling myself this shit. You know, we got to fucking tighten up. And we got to fucking do better, man. Do better. You know? Take it and do better and do the best you can, man. Okay? Do the best you can. Whatever the gift the most high can give you, utilize it. Or it will be taken away. Okay? So this is the book of uh, Isaiah 19. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 14. It says, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof okay it's talking about america man because america is modern day egypt modern day sodom okay america goes by several spiritual titles in the bible and egypt is one of them it says to err and it says they have caused egypt to earn every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit okay it says neither should there be any work for egypt which the head or tail or branch or rush may do so your ceos your corporations which they're going to go underground okay they have money they have stocks they have actual credit unlike the common folk like us we don't have anything but greenbacks that's not being backed by anything and the average american is probably ten thousand dollars or more in debt and credit card debt and that's one reason why i don't own a credit card and i never wanted to own one you know oh we'll take an eighty thousand dollar spending limit credit yeah you spending a bunch of money that doesn't exist so therefore you spending eighty thousand you running your credit cards up that's going to quadruple to one hundred and sixty thousand if you don't pay it off man I'll charge it to my credit card, charge it to my credit card. 
you know which a lot of you Edomites do that but anyway it says neither should there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail or branch or rush may do and in that day shall Egypt be like unto women and it should be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts which he shaken over so the Most High has specific angels that set up around Babylon and camped around Babylon to bring particular judgments man okay and that next judgment Follow with this economic collapse is going to be mass death and chaos, man. Okay, like the elder brother Kazaki Allah, he went into a movie he was watching on Netflix. It's, it's called, uh, let me go back and uh, look at history real quick. Uh, yep, it's called Awake. And Lord's Well, I checked that movie out tonight. The Shabbat, the final Shabbat cycle of this month is tonight. Lord's Well, I checked that movie out and get into it, man. Because, hey, they're, they're, they're telling you right in plain sight. Okay, predictive programming. They put something out there and people get desensitized by it, but yet they're programming you sub subliminally, you know, to, to be acceptable to what's happening. That's why you people went to apply for credit cards and Bitcoin and all this digital based cryptocurrencies because they've already desensitized you into using wireless money, man. Okay, smartphones, the smart pay, Apple Pay, the Apple Watch, all that's designed to put you in this technological mindset, okay, which this fourth industrial revolution. It's known as what they call a technocracy, man. Okay, this is a technocratic type society, and this is why everything is going digital. You see, and this is going to be the wave of the new world. You will own nothing and be happy about it. And it says, in that day, Egypt should be like women, and then it should be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he's shaken over it. And the land of Judah should be a terror to Egypt because these little niggas out here, man. You got some fucking monsters out here. That, that, that their whole goal in life is to wreak terror on people, man. It's to just make people's lives miserable, okay? Because they're a special type of demon that the Most High is going to wipe away, man. Like the filth they are. And it says, And everyone that make a mention thereof should be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he had determined against it, man. Because you GMO babies, that's the apostle with cars say, you GMO, you make niggas out there, man, Most High getting ready to wipe you out, man. Okay? You know, like we was uh, we was at the spot, man. You know, we was chilling with the elders and stuff. A couple of brothers, may have been like six of us. We went out with the elder apostle, uh, uh, an elder apostle. We went out, you know, and, and we're just kicking it with him, parlaying with him. And then, you know, we in the spot, man. Just some fucking niggas, man. Me mugging us, man. Then some gooks got into a fight in there, scrapping, throwing hands, man. And it is like, man, this is the reason why you can't go and have uh, enjoy yourself, man. Just a simple fucking drink. You know, to catch up from a hard day's work in camp Because we was out of camp, damn, them three and a half, four hours In a blistering fucking cold, man So, you know, we just wanted to chill out, have a good time, you know, break bread And all of a sudden, these fucking niggas, man, come in here, me mugging us All because, you know, the men of the Lord, we carry a certain energy with us And people, they pick up on it, man, you know we, They pick up on it and they get jealous of that You know, because we come in, you know, Jake looking, you know, they Jake just being Jake all in all the world, we ain't worried about the world around us. We just enjoying each other. You know what I'm saying? And try to put all the negative bullshit away from our mindset, man. Dealing with this hell. But of course, niggas coming in mean mugging, of course. And then a fight break out with some goop motherfuckers. Just being stupid, man. And nonetheless, but the most highest judgment for you people. You see? So, hey, stay tuned. All right? Uh, next precept here and I'm gonna shut it down. This wasn't a long lesson, but I saw this and it treated me through the spirit I love videos on the economy, you know, and all hell breaking loose, man You know, I love those particular videos because it just gives a you know a, a man that's tired of hope Okay, because we had an urgency to get the hell up out of here We're in an urgency to see this place fall, you know, because we're literally holding on by a thread, man That's why hey, Fine-tune yourselves brother get your minds ready Get your minds ready that hey, you may get laid off man like my company I work for, they ain't said nothing, but I noticed that we the, the, the garage is full of trucks. I'm like, I ain't never seen as many goddamn trucks in this goddamn garage. It's to the point like you gotta, it's like paying, playing Tetris almost to get the trucks out. And I'm like, what the hell? I, uh, but it's something they're not telling us because my job, they deal with straight diesel, you know? We drive these big ass stupid trucks, man. We go to job sites and do what we gotta do. You know, environmental type things, man. and um. I think they're getting ready to, I, I, I got a feeling that they're gonna start announcing layoffs at some point of time, though they're not telling people, but this industry can be directly affected because it's, it, it, it's part of the the, the, uh, the private sector for one thing, and second of all, hey, they deal directly with, uh, with, with, with the economy, so 
We'll see. They ain't said nothing, but we'll see. And honestly speaking, if they did, I wouldn't give two fucks, man. Straight up. Shit. I, I t uh, give me a couple days of extra sleep. I, I don't mind not waking up for you devils, man. But regardless, the Lord is going to take care of us, brother. So just keep that in mind. All right. So this is the book of 2nd Edges 16. And I'm going to start at verses 18. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. Great death, man. Okay. Mass death is coming to you people here in America. Okay. Because the scripture said the dead should be casted out as dung. Okay. So great death and great destruction. Great horror is coming to Babylon the Great. Okay. And we can't stress that enough, man. That's why, hey, brothers. Get your minds right. Focus, focus, focus. And I'm talking to myself, man. First and foremost, before I rebuke anybody, hey, the mirror. I'm looking in the. I'm looking in the mirror, man. Like Michael Jackson had a song called "A Man in the Mirror." That's the first man you're supposed to be rebuking and chastising every day, as often as you can. Not to the point that you destroy yourself, but to the point that you make yourself better, man. And pray and ask the Most High to take them demons out your mind, man. Focus. Because Satan wants us, man. Like, hey, the Lord told him, he says, hey, Peter, I mean, Salakia, he says, Satan desire to sift you as wheat. So, hey, as close as we get to the end of this thing, brothers, hey, Satan is going to come with all types of spiritual attacks, starting in the mental first. We want you to be fucked up out here, but we can't let it happen. All right? It says the beginning of famine and great death. Famine because these global supply shortages, okay, the famine. And so that's going to bring a famine because once these trucks stop moving and diesel is no more, Natural gas is already at an all-time shortage as well. But when they can't get these food, how the hell you think food get to the damn stores, man? Through these trucks. And these trucks, they go off diesel. And this is why they all trying to convert over to natural gas. But that's a shortage on that. Okay? Because the Most High is going to strip this place of its of, of its livelihood, man. Then you people going to realize it. And it says, the beginning of wars and a power shall stand in fear and the beginnings of evil. What should I do when these evils coming? Hey, brothers, pay attention to how people going to start to react towards you. When they realize the things you've been saying is true, they're going to come back with their heads down like, hey, man, you know, that stuff you were saying, hey, it looked like it's coming to pass, man. Hey, you know, what do we do? And, hey, my first <laughs> initial thought is, man, get the fuck out my face, you know? But at the same time, a balance, you just never know who the Lord going to have you to deal with or pair you up to deal with. But for the most of you people, hey, man, fuck you, man. All right, fuck you. Don't, don't, don't fucking come around us, man. Cause you ain't fucking welcome, man. Hey, you been watching the videos, man, and you ain't came up to the camp and break bed. Hey, don't come around us, cause you ain't welcome to the camp, man. Do your own goddamn thing. Don't fucking come up to our camp, man. If you in the right spirit, don't fucking come up to our camp, man. Or you gonna get rebuked on the spot. You wicked, evil niggas out there. Don't fucking come up to the camp now when you catching hell. Don't bring your ass up to the camp because, hey, you know what? If the spirit is on me, you're not going to like what I'm going to say to you, man. Get the fuck on out of here, man, and you figure this shit out. You niggas sitting here playing games with your fucking hands in your pocket, man. Here, all hell is getting ready to break loose, and you fucking niggas out there are playing with the most high, man. But I got, got news for you. The most high is not going to play with your ass, man. And all you bitch-ass niggas out there that want to scoff and talk shit... Hey, may the most high destroy you, man. And we put curses up on you niggas, man. You, 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 you fucking reprobates. I can't stand you. I can't stand you wicked ass, evil, rebellious, stiff hearted, hard headed, McGriddle eating niggas, man. I can't stand you with a passion because you're playing games with your how about shimmy how we shy, man. Wanna talk shit, but yet. You ain't got no works to show forth your diligence, man. Coming against the men of the Most High, like you on some goddamn level. Well, we gonna see how much of a level you on, but the Most High level your monkey ass, man. And if the shoe fit, the motherfucker wear it. And that's the spirit we getting back in. And you younger brothers, step up, man. Step up. Because we only as strong as our weakest link. Step the fuck up, man. We keep each other up. You see your leader? Getting, getting tired, hey, build them up, man We build each other up Pray over brothers, man Anoint brothers The Lord ain't assembled us together To be all fucking not knowing each other You gotta be familiar with the men in your group What they like, what they don't like How they respond to shit You gotta be familiar with these men Cause these are the men that you may have to Hey, these are the men we gonna be spending eternity with Lord's will You know 
and it says behold victory should be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion man all right and a lot of you it says for many of them that dwell on earth shall perish of famine all right of, of death you're gonna die by this by this by, by famine that's the worst way to go out and it says in the other that escape the hunger should the sword destroy and the dead should be cast out as dung and there should be no man to comfort them for the earth should be wasted and the city should be casted down and there should be no man left to till the earth into sword and when Ezra saw this vision he was predominantly seeing America man all you prideful folk out there that thought this place is gonna hey, hey the most high is getting ready to put the smack down on babylon and great 2023 hey a lot of horrific shit is gonna happen in this society man and we may see a full-fledged collapse depending on the spirit of the lord man and i'll pray for that i pray the most high finally drop this fucking hole like the bad habit she is man and i'm gonna end it there all praises and glory and honor that's due to yahweh by shimmy and have shy shalom and a ball ba ball man to you sincere akim out there stay up shalom Right size themselves for the environment. No doubt about it. I mean, Amazon, 1.6 million employees. I think half of them hired in the last couple of years. And a lot of these big companies are finding themselves no longer having to face this like utter labor scarcity picture that they thought they were in a couple of years ago and feeling as if they're not as productive as they could be in a decelerating revenue environment. So it's going to be an undertow, I think, to employment. Um, is it going to pad up you know, the margins as, as quickly as the next couple of quarters? Probably not that much. But it does show you they're in a different mode right now. Uh, it's no longer that we have this inevitable growth uh, trajectory. It's much more about you know, figuring out what makes sense. To people or not. The bloodbath in tech continues with Facebook or Meta, as it's now called, firing more, firing more than 11,000 employees. That's about 13 percent of its workforce. And some of those axe workers are going on social media to share their heartbreak. Amber Cagliano reports. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg is laying off 11,000 workers. I'm outside Facebook's New York City headquarters. Fired workers are expressing heartbreak over social media. They got the bad news early via an email at 6 a.m. And they were given one day's more access to their work emails to say farewell to their colleagues. Oh, my God, who wrote this? This was literally... Literally like my dream. <laughs> Early via an email at 6 a.m. And they were given one day's more access to their work emails to say farewell to their colleagues. Oh my God, who wrote this? This was literally. Lit Early via an email at 6 a.m. And they were given one day's more access to their work emails to say farewell to their colleagues. Oh my God, who wrote this? This was literally, literally like my dream job. And I was so proud of myself when I got it. And I'm still very proud of myself. Hey, TikTok. I, uh, I don't have a job anymore. I don't even know what to do with myself. I have been working since I was 15 years old. I've never once been unemployed. This pregnant woman's last day is also her due date. She couldn't stop sobbing. Much of the problem is Zuckerberg's $100 billion investment in the metaverse. The company has invested billions of dollars on their metaverse plans, and they've said that their losses around their metaverse division are going to grow next year. Zuckerberg demonstrated the metaverse on CBS last year, creating an avatar for Gail King. Mark, I'm in. All right, welcome. Oh, my God, you've got freckles on your nose. I have freckles in real life, too, so I'm trying to do the best wow. I can. In a letter to employees, Zuckerberg said, this is a sad moment. I want to take accountability for how we got here. So it's time to find a new dream. Meta is offering a generous severance package. It's paying 16 weeks of base pay, plus two additional weeks for every year. It's hard to make ends meet when, when everything keeps going up. With or without inflation, maximum benefit was not today. Out of work is $307. The way inflation is, 370 and minus taxes, or even 370, is not easy to live on. That benefit this week didn't get that max. Since she's working concessions downtown, the state sent her 52 bucks. I don't have a car. I don't know how I make it this car payment. I eat at work, so that helps the grocery bill. Um, I don't have cable. So I live on bare minimum, really. She's one of 20,000 Wisconsinites. The state says filed for unemployment last week. Two and a half years ago, everything changed. The state and country shut down. 
and the employment rate in the state spiked to 14%. There are two, 13 customers in queue. In those early months of the pandemic, Wisconsin's Department of Workforce Development couldn't keep up with the calls. The state turned to call centers to help. So on Thursday, the state's Unemployment Insurance Advisory Council asked Wisconsinites to share their thoughts for improving the system. But only a couple of people spoke. As those out of work get ready for the holidays, higher heating bills, and the long winter ahead. Huh. Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.